Good evening, folks. This is Steve A, and this is A Voice in the Desert. Well, I'm going to be traveling uh, to Fort Wayne this weekend to see my friend James Carter in Fort Wayne, Indiana. And I also have some Bibles to, to give him. But there's a few things I wanted to get into. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, Fort Wayne and then I'll talk a little bit about the Chicago area. And then I'm going to talk about the new member that just joined A Voice Crying in the Desert. And I'll give you a little bit of her background. And I just hopefully that you can make her a little more welcome at home. But I also just want to open up with this verse, and it's talking about it's out of Matthew 23, 1 through 3. Uh, there's a lot of Christians out there that are not do are not practicing what they're preaching. They do a lot of talking, and uh, they obviously they do a lot of talking, and they don't exactly walk the talk or practice what they preach. I think it's very important in these so-called very uh, dangerous times we're living in, and uh, there's so much at stake in our country right now. There's a lot of evil in the world, and I think it's important for everybody out there to start living out their faith and practicing what they're preached because there's not a lot of time left. And so it is important that you, you, you live for God, you live for Jesus every single day. And it's very important that you do this. So the verse I'm going to talk about is Matthew 23, 1 through 3. It says, the teachers of the law and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. So you must be careful to do everything they tell you, but do not do what they do, for they do not practice what they preach. So in other words, you shouldn't really worry about what other Christians are saying or what other Christians do because they don't, not all, not, not saying it's everybody, but there are other Christians out there. They're not actually living for Christ and they're not doing what they're doing. I try to live every day, each and every day to the best of my ability and living for God. I don't post any hatred against hatred for anybody. I just try to love people and accept people for who they are and try to live my faith out to the best of my ability. And that's what I'm going to be doing in four way. And I have about two crates worth of Bibles as I also am. I work for uh, Tyndale House Ministries. I work in the custodial department. And uh, you know we get a lot of, we do a lot of donations for people. We also donate Bibles around the world. We have several ministries that we work with from around the world. And so that's basically what uh, what what I am called to do. And I don't I'm not called to be a pastor in any way. I'm not called to lead a ministry. I'm just called to just do uh, just live for Christ to the best of my ability. And that's what I intend to do. One of the things I wanted to talk about tonight, we have a new member that just joined my friend's group. It's called A Voice Crying in the Desert. The name has simply changed a little bit. It used to be A Voice Crying in the Wilderness. It's called A Voice Crying in the, in the it was called, used to be called A Voice Crying in the Wilderness. Now it's called A Voice Crying in the Desert. And it's a Facebook group. So if you get a chance, just go to that Facebook. My friend, he also has a YouTube channel called A Voice Crying in the Desert. And they talk about the Bible. We have Hot Bible Talk. And there's uh, some other things. And so I encourage you to check out the deck. Now, regarding the new member that we have, we, it's a lady by the name of Chantel. She goes by the name of Chantel Ferraro and Chantel Shines. But she just joined a voice crying in the desert just a few days ago. Now, I'm just going to give you kind of a little background on her. I don't know her personally, but I came across her on social media uh, back in what is about 2019. So it's probably about, oh, I don't know, five or six years ago. And she had she was actually part of the uh, she was actually part of uh, James McDonald's church about Harvest Bible Chapel. A little bit of background on her. She's actually a professional photographer. Uh, she had a place in Elgin and she does like um, senior pictures for high school students. But she's a prof she she was a professional photographer. And now she does like designer shirts. And she's she recently moved to Texas. And uh, the only thing I know about her, she's kind of suffered, she had her kind of her background uh, was she suffered a lot of emotional and physical abuse. 
in her childhood and she's dealing with other such things as bulimia and other issues. And she's married. She's got two kids and a husband, but she's got some issues. And she's also suffered, uh, had also some very bad experiences with churches and I harvest to be one of them. But even in Texas, she's experienced the same thing. And she's also experienced a lot of the same things in churches that my friend James Carter has suffered with people who are Christians who call themselves Christians and they're not very loving, they're not very accepting, and they're not practicing what they're preaching, and they're treating her very badly. And a lot of these churches that are out there, and even the ones that where she is in Texas are the same way. But that's, that's kind of her situation. So I just would pref I, I don't know her personally, but I would just say just welcome her with open arms. Uh, her name is Chantel Ferraro. You might see her on social media. She's also got a, a Facebook page called Chantel Shines, and she does a, she has a small business where she does like designer shirts, uh, decorative shirts, and she lives out in near San Antonio, Texas now. But I just wanted you to welcome her in open arms. Um, and so now I'm going to get on and we're going to talk a little bit about my, the area that I live in and then we're going to talk about Fort Wayne. I live in the suburban Chicago area, but it's an area near DuPage County, Illinois. It's, a, it's probably around the Chicago area. It's one of the wealthiest communities in, and only well, one of the wealthiest communities in the Chicago area. So it's called DuPage County, Illinois. Uh, the cost of living here is a, is a little is a, a little out of sight. Uh, you could you end up uh, one bedroom apartments here start around twelve hundred a month if you want something that they pr pretty much arrange from anywhere from twelve hundred a month or more. So that's kind of a kind of a little bit ex expensive if you want like a two bedroom. It might cost you a little bit more than that, but it's one of the wealthiest communities in the area. We do have a lot of churches in the area, and um, I, I don't feel that a lot of them are actually reaching the community. Uh, our area is, it's not a necessary an area that is welcoming to Christians. We tend to be, politically, we tend to be very progressive, uh, especially around, maybe not as progressive as the Chicago area. But we, uh, Illinois is, a, is kind of pretty much a democratic state, and it's likely going to stay like that for a long time. But we're a pretty, a pretty progressive area. So if you don't like progressive politics, then maybe Illinois or DuPage County might not be for you. You might be better off if you go downstate. But uh, Illinois is it's it's a it's a very different kind of state. It's a, it's not like Fort Wayne is. You know, Fort Wayne tends to be a little more conservative in some way. I mean, I know that some of the areas maybe around Indianapolis tends to be a little more liberal. But uh, cost of living is it's a little a little more cheaper in Fort Wayne, a, li a little bit less than it is here in Chicago. So and it's basically it's a much smaller town uh, than we are here. So, but that's just kind of a little bit, but I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be over there. I'll probably be putting up more videos to my channel, more pictures. And so that's kind of what I'll, what I'll be doing. So I just want, I just wanted to, uh, probably wanted to share that with everybody. And I will be, I will be, I will be spending my time with James Carter and his friend, Brian Penrod. And I may, I may do a video on their channel. I'm not sure what, what's, what's in store or what God has plans for me, but it will be two weeks for me. And I will be heading over to Fort Wayne, Indiana. I was over there about a year ago. So I'm looking forward to it, to a good time over there. But I just want to encourage you guys out there that uh, if if you are interested in this ministry, if you interested in supporting a voice crying in the desert, I would encourage you to go to to support James, and I would ask you that if you really uh, care and you care about this ministry, live out what you do, and you know just make make some donations to him, just give whatever you can so this ministry can grow. And I'm doing what I can. I know it's a little money seems to be a little tight for me 
with giving, but I'm going to at least, I have two crates of Bibles that I'm going to be giving. So I will be giving one of those. So that it, it basically is going to go out to people who can't afford a Bible or, or just people in need. And there's a lot of people in the Fort Wayne area that are, are lost and they do need to know Jesus and they might want a very good Bible. And I have some very good Bibles from Tyndale to donate and I'm looking forward to um excuse me looking forward to be, being over there for the next couple of weeks. So uh until I see you again, I just want to wish everybody out there uh, a, a a very a very a very good week and I'll just say it again this is Steve A and a voice crying in the crying in the a voice crying in the a voice crying in the uh a voice crying in the desert and uh, also support my friend uh, who is also part of that ministry. So this is Steve A and I will talk to you very, very soon. So bye-bye.